Why did you become a luthier? And when did that happen? <laughs> well, I've been a guitar player since I was nine years old. So I was always interested in that. I love the idea of woodworking, but never got a chance to do it much. But I always loved the idea. I love the smell of wood. Anyway, when I came to Toronto working in the studio, and then I realized it wasn't for me. I uh, was just playing music for a couple of months. And then I saw a guitar made by John Larrave at a music store that was here called the Toronto Folklore Center. It was here for a couple of decades. And I was playing his guitar and I still remember being knocked out by how well it was made. And it was my first time to think about this object being made by human hands. It just wouldn't have occurred to me. I knew the big well-known names, the brands, the Martin guitars and all that, but I wasn't thinking about it. I mean, it was only 17. And uh, I remember looking at the headstock where a veneer was glued on to the mahogany neck and where the two pieces joined, you couldn't see any glue. And I thought, how is that possible? Perfect. That one wood ends and the other begins. Like, how does anybody do something like that? Anyway, I then ran into him at the Mariposa Folk Festival on the Toronto Islands, where I went just to, to hear the music. And he was showing his guitars in the craft section for the first time. And I bumped into him and, and uh, you know, being a naive teenager, which I guess is your job as being a teenager to be naive, I just said, Would, could I come and work with you? And there was stuff going on in the background I had no idea about, but he said, okay, when I start up again in the fall, and this is in the era before climate control equipment, so you couldn't glue things together in the humid summer. He said, when I start up again, come by and we'll see if it works out. I'll tell you within a few months. And in the end, it, it was he and I alone for the better part of two years. Nice. Uh, you know, and it obviously did work out. There you go.